We all know and love the man on the court, but the role of husband and father is the side that we don't see. In a lot of ways, it's impacted my home life. Uh, I'd say the first is the amount of sacrifice that goes into it. Um, we talk about our team having sacrifices for each other as players. You know, maybe you have to sacrifice some playing time or you got to sacrifice a starring role as a team, but at home, you've got a team too. And so the sacrifices of um, being away from home, of the amount of time that goes into it even when you are at home. So sometimes Melinda will joke that um, you're home but you're not really here, um, those kind of things. So there's a lot of sacrifices that go into it. Um, the biggest one being, of course, the, the time commitment that goes into it. I mean, they've supported me in unconditional ways. Um, the late nights, the um, the travels um, out of town for games or tournaments. And it's really a 12-month thing because, yeah, we've got our season from November to March, but then we've got our camps in the summer, we've got our player development programs, we've got all the other things that go on with it. Um, so the support's been unconditional because there's, there's nights where, um, you know, I, I would, of course, love to be home, but the obligations are elsewhere, so the sacrifices that Melinda has to make for, uh, to be here um, are really, really appreciated, and I think most coaches uh, would tell you that about their spouses, but one thing that's so neat about uh, Melinda and Ellie is their unconditional support for allowing me to do what I enjoy is really neat, but then on top of that, they come and attend a lot of games, and they travel to a lot of games, and so then that family atmosphere that we try to foster is always there because they're, they're there, they're part of it. Yeah, it's really neat to have her there and, and to see the guys, the way that the guys interact with her when she's on the floor. Um, the most recent practice she came to, uh, Melinda opened the door, and I was had my back to the door, and I was coaching my team, and I could hear her yell right away and kind of look over my shoulder. And, um, it's really neat to have her there. You know, when she was little, she'd be there, and I was just kind of always watching her, you know, and, and now she's getting a little bit more mobile and um, a little bit more aware. She's... Uh, uh, she enjoys being there too, which is cool because she has the space to run and um, you know the, the guys to interact with. She likes playing with the basketballs and running on the court. Um, but it makes me feel great because um, you know part of the commitment away from here is that time thing that you're away from them. So when they're able to come to you and you're able to spend time together is really neat. She's in like the 97th percentile in height, so maybe you know she'll be she'll be a really good post player is what Melinda and I laugh about. But um, you know I want her to be able to do and play and enjoy whatever she wants. Um, we'll be uh, loyal supporters of her, uh, lovers of whatever she wants to do and her passions. Uh, one of the great blessings of my life is that I've been supported and I've got a passion to do what. Uh, to coach basketball and I'm allowed to do that and I want to be able to have that translate to her and for her to have a passion for something to pursue it to have success at it and to enjoy it and so if that's basketball um, then great we'd be able to have a lot in common um, with that and the, the knowledge of it and what we know about it but um, at the same point if it's something else then we're gonna we're gonna go after that and uh, have a lot of fun doing it.